Hi, I am so excited that it's finally warm. It finally feels like springtime. I'm Valerie Knowles from Knowles Produce, winner of the 2015 Young Retailer of the Year Award for Garden Centers. Yay. And um, if you remember, a couple weeks ago, I did a video for you on what you could do to prep your vegetable garden to be super abundant and amazing. I'll link to it in this email in case you need to catch up. In that video, I went over soil prep, uh, how to kind of figure out where the best place was for your garden. And now it's finally time to plant. So you've got your area ready. Come into Nalls and pick out your favorite tomatoes, peppers. Uh, we've got some cucumber plants. We've got a few other squash. Um, we carry lots and lots of varieties and it's time where you can really come and have fun, pick out what, what speaks to you. I love growing herbs. They take very similar conditions to what vegetables take. Um, but the cool thing is, is a lot of them are perennials and come back every year. So keep that in mind if you're gonna plant an herb garden that a lot of them are gonna stay there for years and years. So make it close to your kitchen. You don't wanna have to put your shoes on to go cut some herbs for dinner because you won't. So keep it close to your kitchen. Make sure it's close to a water source because it will need some water every once in a while. Uh, we've got lots of herbs in this little starter size. They're cheap, they're four bucks a piece. There's lots of varieties. So it's a good time to go ahead and get your herb garden set up. I will give you a word of caution. If you are a mint lover, mint takes over everything. So segregate mint off by itself in a pot, okay? Um, so make sure it's near water, make sure it's somewhat near your kitchen so you don't have to put your shoes on to go cut your herbs. All right, herbs and vegetable plants are also very heavy feeders. That means they eat a lot of the nutrients out of the soil. If you followed my instructions on the first video, you've got really good soil to start, but they're gonna deplete it as the summer goes on. So. When you plant your herbs and vegetables, or anything for that matter, flowers, trees, shrubs, we carry a product, looks like this. If you've heard of Holly Tone before, your grandparents probably used it for years and years. They've been around for forever. It's all organic, good stuff. They have this product called Biotone Starter Plus. It's full of really, really good nutrients and beneficial bacteria. There's little microbes in there that attach onto the fine hair fibers of your roots and actually help those roots draw up more water. So it's really good stuff. You put this down in your hole when you're planting and when you can plant, you can plant anything, use this with anything. After that, once a month on your herbs or your vegetables, use this. It's called Garden Tone, same company. It's dry, it's organic, it's easy to use. You will not burn your plants by using too much. You just put it right at the base of the plant once a month. It's really good stuff. If you have flowers that you planted or are going to plant, and of course you will because they're amazing and beautiful. They've got another product on the market for flowers to help, to help it bloom more during the summer. I especially recommend that if your flowers are in pots that you remember to use this once a month. Pay your power bill, fertilize your plants. Pay your power bill, fertilize your plants, right? So this is what they have out for flowers. It promotes more blooms. So this is a really good one. So you've got flower tone, garden tone, and biotone starter plus. Do you remember this one? This is one that you really, really need because those beneficial bacteria. We've also got one, I don't have it here with me. It's called tomato tone, especially for tomatoes. The, the garden tone is good for tomatoes. Don't, this is great and you can have this one stop shop but they've got one that's specific for tomatoes. So if you're in a competition with your neighbor to grow the best tomatoes, pick up that tomato tone. It's got extra calcium in it. Tomatoes use a lot of calcium. They get something called blossom end rot, which is where it rots on the end of the tomato. And you think, I did everything right, why is it rotten? Or did a deer take a big hunk out of it? No, it's a calcium deficiency. So that tomato tone will take care of any calcium deficiency. All right, that's all I got for you this week. Good luck gardening and email us with any questions. Thanks guys.